Today I finally have time. I'm a uh, well, not time, but I have some time. I just removed the stock seat and cleaned some stuff out. Uh, got my seat wheel right there. These are the seats I picked up. Some brides. I had black brides back in the day. It was my first set of seats, so I missed them. So I'm gonna uh, try to use these again. Then I have uh, what is this? The harness bar or whatever that goes behind the seat because the guy he uh threw in some you know fake knockoff um some harnesses or whatever so try to install those today if not at least i'll start it today because i haven't really had time to do anything with this car and i need to like peel all of this redo it get the car you know running again so i could just drive with no issues so far i just popped this panel off it seems like for now i might have to keep it off because this is way too bulky to put this back on clearly um uh, maybe in the future i'll like you know Dremel it out or something, it's not a big deal. But for now, I don't really care, so I'm gonna keep it off. Um I never done it before, I just watched a YouTube video real quick. But uh that's on there so far. It's not too tight so I so I can adjust it for now. I'm assuming slip this through there and then I'll see what happens after that. I got this off Amazon, didn't come with no instructions, but looking at the pictures from Amazon, like the review pictures I guess, and I'm gonna use that black bolt right there because all these are silver for the most part. The black bolt for the top, um, it's kind of like holding itself in, in place right now just from pressure. But I'm try to I'm gonna bolt this up for now and then look through the pictures and see what I have to do next. Plus, I still gotta assemble my seat bracket to my seat. The seats that I got came with um EK seat brackets. I was thinking like, you know, I don't need these, blah, blah, blah. But then I realized, I forgot that I picked up an EK that's been sitting there for like two months that I haven't done shit with yet. Um, one day I'm going to get it running. But for now, I'm going to keep these brackets for that car just in case. I mean, it looks like the bracket's a little fucked up, but it's doable. So, so far, I got that in, the little bracket. I used the black nut use there's a thinner silver nut that comes with it i use that and now for this section technically i'm not supposed to be running this but for the meantime because i don't think i'll have time to put on the harness i'm using there's a silver nut that's just as thick as the black nut i'm using that through this piece right here that connects to it that piece right there and then my seat belt there's not a lot of threads to hook it onto but if you if you play with it, it fits. And then I'm just gonna make it really tight for now. And then another day I'll figure out how to do the little loop de loop shit to make the harness work. I'll probably look up a video tonight. But for now, that's it. I have to still bolt the seat down. Um Yeah, but tighten that, bolt the seat down, and I got one seat in. But I do miss having brides. And I did do this like a little while ago. So at least now like the interior is like making sense for now that's pretty much it it wasn't that hard to install actually i overthought it um the seats took me way too long to actually put in though because the seat brackets that came with it was like the way the screws was placed i had to drill them out I actually just a mess on the ground right here i had to literally drill the what is this called the phillips heads this like some of them came out but like at least like four of them i had to drill straight through it to get them out but the seats came out good. I didn't put the harness bar yet. I mean, not the harness bar. The harness yet. That's my old seats. Because it's kind of late already. I stayed here a little too long. Longer than I like. But they're in. I always wanted red brides or red seats in general. Like I said earlier, they, they match that. It would be nice if I have like colored harness bar, but it's fine. It's pretty um sturdy also. I guess me shaking it. Um, I was thinking maybe if I can put like a those little brackets that hold fire extinguishers, put it right here. That'd be pretty cool. Like just visually cool. Um, one day I'll probably cut the little slit out, put it back up there. But that's pretty much it. I'm gonna drive it home tonight and get some miles on it. And then I think the next thing I'm gonna do besides driving it every once in a while to get some miles on it is start peeling this wrap. You know, fixing. All the body issues and everything, but 
And now that's it. Quick little simple video. Not really an install video, but just showing you a harness bar. If anyone wants a link to it, just ask me. I'll give you the link. It's from Amazon. I think it's like 49 inch universal. It's honestly just for the looks. It's like, that's pretty much it. It's not really, I don't really think it'll like save me from anything. But anyways. Hi right, guys, that's it for the video. Heading home. And what is this? No. Uh, I put a new thermostat into the car. Always runs pretty cool. Especially since it's pretty cool outside right now too. So that's the upside. Um, if you guys have any video suggestions, let me know. I'm open to ideas.